Okay, the obsession continues with my solar power or love of solar power. This is a, a Plano, um, like a fishing tackle box kit. It's, it's not huge. I know it's small, it's waterproof. And I got two solar solar panels in here, solar cells. This six volt, uh, 167 milliamps, uh, one watt each. So that's uh, 330 something milliamps of power. And then uh, what I have it charging, and just to make sure you can see that it works here, I just take this, pull it out, plug it into this power bank, which is, I'll show you in a second. I don't have a stand for the camera, so all right, that's plugged in. Now let's just go under a 40 watt bulb here. See how it's charging now? It's just a crappy little lamp. Now the red light means it's charging. Take it out, put it under, so it's getting enough power to charge. Uh, it's actually getting enough power to turn the light on. It would probably need some direct sunlight to to provide that 330 milliamps, 335. Um, this it's all held together with Velcro, and I loosened everything up because it gets very hard to take apart. This is a um, eight eighteen six fifty lithium ion cell um, battery bank. It has four lithium ion eighteen six fifty batteries in it from out of an old laptop. That I used to have. And there's a button on the side here. You can test the, uh, the strength. There it looks like three or two. Two lights light up. That means that it's got less, a little more than half the power, I guess. Now here's the cells. I had eight of them in this old battery pack from 2003. This is an old um, laptop that I had and uh, I ordered a new battery for it and I charged the battery up one time and then I unplugged it and it sat for until late 2012 probably December of 2012 I took it broke the battery all apart and I got this thing and I put the batteries in there and they charge up to 4.28 and that's when they stop charging and this thing this uh, little red light turns green that lets you know that it's completely charged and then you get 88 uh, 8800 milliamps of power out of these because they're um, 2200 each so this thing this is a workhorse and it's all self-contained just open it up and it starts charging I gotta plug that in but uh, I can put a couple of cords in here I have a uh, where'd it go I got a huge mess on my desk I was just soldering something to well, here's one. It's uh, it's the iPod one. Just throw it in there, and uh, then I have another one for uh, Google Nexus Seven and other stuff. Here it is. This one. There's the USB, and there's the micro USB. So both these fit in there, and then the solar panel. Close it. And I have to jam it in there just a little better, but uh, that thing turned out pretty good, and uh, it just keeps going and going and going. And uh, I like the lithium ion so much that um, I bought. Uh, you probably saw this in a different video if you've seen my videos. This is a steak and shake tin, and I was gonna build some uh, stuff into it. I had a had just a lit or I mean a uh, nickel metal hydride set up with um, four AA batteries and that was about 5,000 milliamps of nickel metal hydride which is not doesn't have the performance of lithium ion so I bought a uh, lithium ion uh, 3.7 this is the same cells as those other those other ones but this is protected so if something happens and it starts draining too much or charging too fast it'll pop it and I've seen it pop it just 
it just stops working and the battery completely comes becomes disconnected on the inside and after a certain amount of time it connects back up and see this blue light right now that's an indicator showing that uh, it's charging now it's charging from the solar panel see because if I block the solar panel it goes off come back it goes off so that's all self-contained too and this is uh, 4400 milliamps um, I also put a very small cheap cheap radio in here and uh, it's it's got a LED but <laughs> I'd probably take that back out just so there's a little extra room but all this fits in there and this I might take all this out and put it in a regular size tin too because uh, it'd be more pocketable but but everything will fit and uh, I also made a uh, slot this is for charging the lithium ion battery with a, a cord you can use a mini USB cord out of any cell phone I gotta I have one that's only 500 milliamps that it pushes from an old uh, uh, maybe a I can't remember what phone it was I've had so many cell phones maybe a Samsung or something and um, so that charges it or else I also put this in there which is a 2.5 millimeter jack which I can plug in some extra um, solar panels that I made and here's I went and bought a one of those uh, aluminum wallets that they had a infomercial about them a while back and um, I looked at it and I'm like it looks like those those solar panels would fit in there maybe those two that I have the little 6 volt 84 milliamps and then when I took it out of the package, looked at it, I'm like, there's no way, it's way too small. But when I got home and I checked, look at that, they fit perfect. So I have the two in here, and then the cord I had to uh, shave it down to fit, because it fits real tight, but it, it does close all the way and lock. So anyway, I can plug this into whatever, and uh, have a couple of other things that use... Uh, that same jack. I have a battery chart, just a double A battery charger. Since I'm not using them in here, I got a made a charger. But this plugs into there, and then it will use this and this for about 330 something milliamps. That'll charge it a lot faster. So that's where I'm at. I'm about to rip this one apart and put this all into a smaller tin and get rid of the radio, um, probably. But I just can't stop doing this stuff. This is this is more fun than collecting uh, survival tins <laughs> or or uh, making fishing kits. So, if you got any questions about anything that's going on in here, uh, feel free to to uh, make a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe and do all that stuff. Uh, I'll have another video for you pretty soon, hopefully. Thank you.